Welcome, welcome. Um, not been a video for a few days because I've been doing my own thing. Um, what are we looking at here? Your humble, sort of relatively cheap vegetable box. Really straightforward, pine uh, rectangles cut diagonally, makes four corner posts. Featherboard sides and uh, just stapled together. So why am I showing you that? Well, about a month, I think it's about a month ago when my sister came and stayed nearby. We went to Monchique and there's about seven of these boxes laying there. And uh, as my sister said, do you want to take some of these? They're just laying in the street. And it's... The ego part of me is like, oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> but of course, there's the internal dialogue going on of, I have a feeling they're going to be useful. And why not? You've got use of a car. How are you going to transport them on a push bike? So, ended up coming away with four of them. And, uh, well, we've got this raised bed on this side with the tomato plants and everything is in full sun. I was looking at making shading. And of course, then faced with the challenge of this ground is so hard and I don't know how compacted this sort of entrance way. But let's just say it's probably the, mo the, the most dense uh, piece of ground to do anything with. So, the answer was use the resources you've got, which are these buttons of wood. So, I'd already visioned the idea of making like a, some sort of fencing along here, but it's notorious with the strong wind when it comes either in, from the south or from the north, it just howls through this valley. And it, it's destroyed various things, tents and things here over the time, but um, use the resources what, that you've got. So I've got the strips of wood, I thought I could just attach them to the back. I've been harvesting bamboo and uh, the boxes are basically forming step formers and then you've got the stone wall in front, which has got sort of earth clay in places as it gets wet it will sort of set in place, but you can see already how this will give welcome shading so I can increase the amount of plants. I'd like to have a floral display with colour on this side as much as anything else. So it's still under construction, but it's a testimony, it's a part one of two videos. Um, let's just this, let's just say you have a an internal and an external, and as within, so without. So let's consider AIX and its counterpart. Oh, I hear this is Charis down here, <laughs> demanding food, no doubt. It's a bit early yet. Harris again, <laughs> being in the picture. So yeah, um, the part two, I'm going to discuss the XIA to the AIX. So uh, it, it's testimony as much as anything else, and uh, a realisation of so many things. I'm, I'm actually surprised I've got as much as I have done today because what with it being so hot and then I, shall we say, I, I made the mistake of putting the radio on and there's a particular piece of music, the Mozart Serenade number no. 10. It was, the slow movement was featured in the film Amadeus and it's such a beautiful mu piece of music and it led on to going on a little musical 
journey for a couple of hours and uh, putting the fun back in a funeral you could say because I was thinking I'd like to do a funeral where or create my own funeral while I'm here to appreciate it so basically it would be a concert anyway but you would get a first hand of what the piece of music means to me and, and such like. It, it's the art spirit speaking through the artist so it wouldn't be my words but it would be my interpretation of what I feel in those words. Now if you were to ask me what's going out, on out there with the Olympic Games, Paris and anything else in the world, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> but uh, that's part of it. You see, I feel like a millionaire. And there is a theme called redemption. When you redeem something, you hand something over. So the best advice I could give is, as much as possible, switch off from that external world. Because it creates a void which will be filled, which will be infilled with something far more wonderful. So I don't have to have a million euros to feel like a millionaire. I'm in this beautiful position when it is as hot as this, apart from the watering. There's very little else I need to do. And it's like, oh, we'll just take a day off if it's too hot. Trust me on this one, about half an hour ago, I was wetter when, before going in the shower <laughs> than I was in the shower, such was the heat. And all, the, all I was doing was standing by, these, uh, by this re retaining wall and raised bed construction. See, bit, what we're doing, we're building up a depth, so there's plenty for the anything that's planted to root into and it hasn't got to try and fight its way through this real hard earth clay and I feel it all start to look something once it's uh, got some nice uh, a nice colourful display something that looks welcoming Anyway, that's the part one. I'll talk about more about this in part two, um, where this is all going.